she got older, we realized she had several things going on. She was diagnosed at the age of three with ADD and an expressive and receptive language disorder. She had a hard time maintaining friendships. It was a constant for her growing up, the amount of hands on and redirection that was required for her in everyday life. She had always been in private schools to help her be successful. But in high school, we decided to mainstream her. It was overall a good thing, except she met a boy who later turned out to be emotionally abusive to her. I didn't realize until much later how abusive he really was. At 24, she was still at home and things were not going well at all. Even if she had wanted to go out on her own, there was no way I would have let her because I didn't trust the decision she was making and her relationship with the boyfriend. That summer in 2014, I realized something had to give. Things had become unbearable at home. My husband and I were at complete odds with each other and her sister was long gone. Moving to New York, we found a consultant that helped us look into the possibility of her going into some kind of a treatment program. She has an eating disorder and when she broke up with her boyfriend briefly, she was almost suicidal. We visited several places, but she didn't like any of them until we came to Fullshire. I will never forget that morning as long as I live. Even after brief encounters with Helene and Kevin, I knew this was the right place for her. She knew it too, and she was good with going to Fullshire. She said she wanted to move immediately. <laughs> for me, it was if the heavens opened up and the angels were singing. The day we left, Jenny, was the hardest day of our lives. But for the first time ever, we felt she was finally safe and in a place that could help her with everything that was holding her back in her life. I won't lie, it was very difficult those first couple of months. We didn't have much contact with her, but that was all for a good reason. Her and I were too enmeshed, a term I had never heard before. And it was one of a thousand things that I learned as a parent being able to participate in this fabulous program. I was Jenny's rescuer, her confidant, her everything. You might think, well, what's wrong with that? In simplistic terms, I was telling her that she wasn't capable. She couldn't do it on her own. By trying to limit or experience pain and suffering, she hadn't grown up with the confidence or the tools to navigate life. As we were to soon discover, with Fulcher's help, the world had not been very nice to Jenny. It was excruciating, some of the things we found out, but it was vital for our family to grow and heal as we so needed to do. Jenny was in the program for 16 months. She lived at the ranch for six months and then moved to the apartments where she lived for 10 months. She went back to the ranch a couple of times for reflection and contemplation. For choices she had made at the apartments that were not healthy or good for her or the community. Through all of that, we gained an incredible amount of knowledge and perspective for our family and also for Jenny. I learned so many things. I myself went into therapy the whole time Jenny was at Fullshire. It was the, one of the best things for me that I could have done for myself. It's not for everyone, but it was a godsend for me personally. We as a family worked so hard in the sessions and the quarterly programs that Fulcher offers. I learned that I am responsible for my journey and Jenny is responsible for hers. She is an adult and one that is capable of making responsible decisions and experience the consequences if she doesn't. It sounds so simple, but one that I still work on to this day. I learned about attachment and everything that entails. I learned about taking care of me and that it was okay if not mandatory to do so. My husband and I found each other again. Having a child with challenges can destroy a marriage. I learned to be in the moment, to sit in my grief and sadness. I learned to let go of my shame from past mistakes and most importantly, not to fear the future. I learned to let go and control everything around me and everyone around me. I learned that I don't have to be a perfectionist to just let be what will be. Jenny and her sister have a good relationship now. For many years, they didn't speak and had zero contact with each other. That was the most 
one of the most difficult things to witness because as little girls, they were so close. I learned that I am not responsible for their relationship and I had to let them find each other. After all of the therapists and professionals that helped Jenny growing up, we found out that Jenny has Asperger's. It was extremely difficult to be given this news. After I processed it, so many things became clear as to why things were so difficult for her at school, for her to make and keep friends, and overall her ability to navigate the world. There are so many things that I and our family learned in the 18 months that Jenny was attending Fulcher. Almost too numerous to count. I want to be able to pay it forward because of everything Fulcher did for us. So if you would like to talk to me about our experience, please call. I will share anything I can with you to help you make this difficult decision and also very courageous decision. Jenny is doing great. She lives in an apartment by herself. Yes, the boyfriend is gone, thank God. She is working full time, going to all of her appointments and we now have an adult relationship with, which is the best news of all. Do we still have struggles? Absolutely. But for the most part, I do my journey and she does hers. Her and her dad are so much closer and have a loving relationship. One that I, I didn't think would ever be possible. Her sister is now a part of her life. Fulcher saved our family. They saved my life. I am forever grateful for everything I learned and everything our family experienced. This I hope if you decide to take on this experience will be life changing an opportunity of the lifetime for you and your family. Thanks for letting me share.